can we expect to see you on a Chicago anytime soon? I'm so busy. <laughs> no, no, prob probably not. Okay. Probably not. Although, I, any chance that I would have to work with, uh, any chance that I get to work with Colin, I would take it. Um, but, uh, but no, no plans for that right now. Thank you. But if he called me, I would be there. Immediately. <laughs> What's up, man? Hey, man. Um, so, a lot of times, uh, when celebrities go out into public, sometimes they'll put on little disguises as to not get recognized. So, if you were ever in a position where you were trying to not get recognized, who would just, who would you disguise Wait, 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 wait. Are you trying to find out his secret, like, <laughs> thing? No. So, if he doesn't, you'll know it's him? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, I'm just trying to get an autograph, basically. <laughs> First of all, I have the best alias. I can't tell you what it is. <laughs> But it's the best. best. It's Mad Men related. Oh. It's fantastic. I'm so proud of it. Um, <laughs> you shouldn't try to disguise yourself. And this actually goes to how I like to behave in public. And this is something that John Barrowman taught me in season one. He said, if you give people a little bit of access, then when you ask for space, they'll give it to you. But if you constantly hold people at arm's length, their inclination is gonna to be to just try to rush at you. So for example, at San Diego Comic-Con last year, um, we could either get in a car and take 45 minutes to drive two blocks to get to dinner, or we could walk directly across the convention floor at peak hours on Saturday. And the people that organized the convention were like, all right, okay, you need to put on a mask. Nope, sorry, I'm not doing that. All right, you need to have like five security guards around you. I said, you can put one security guard behind me. <laughs> and we walked through the entire convention store floor and we ostensibly hid in plain sight. And that, that's how I like to do things. Uh, Thanks, also, my mom was just on speaker phone. She's a big fan. Can you just say hi, Colleen? What's your name? My mom, uh, Colleen. Colleen. Hi, Colleen. All right, cool. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> well, man. Well, that was actually so inspiring. I take back what I said about the hugs and kisses. Ask me anytime. That's all. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Um, oh, that was really loud. Okay. Uh, so, um, I really like dressing in costume. A lot of people do. But if you had like a different costume to go in, what would you cosplay? <laughs> Too much? Nope. <laughs> For my birthday, Emily got me a sloth costume. <laughs> and it might be my favorite thing. Um, By chance, bring that with you, dude. No, oh. no. No, it's back in Los Angeles. No, I'm gonna go with my sloth costume. Awesome. Only for special occasions? <laughs> no. <laughs> if you consider a special occasion like a Tuesday, then for sure, I guess. Only on Tuesdays. <laughs> Hello. 